Hello, IB art peeps. Well, today we're going to be talking about what I've been through to get to my final piece. I'll start out talking about how my last artwork affected this one. My last artwork was a woman with blood screaming at a soldier sitting there with guilt. What I didn't like about this artwork was that you had you had to look at two emphasized pieces. You weren't just looking at one object, you were looking at two. And usually in an art piece, it's more enjoyable to be looking at one object instead of two at the same time, and you wouldn't realize which one's more important than the other. Therefore, as you can see, I did what I had intended to do in this art piece and I changed I changed that and I made it only one object to focus on so that it can be nice to look at so that I can be happy when I look at it. And so as you can see on pages 25 through 27 I deliberately used technical skill to explore the object's form and everything about it so that when I come to draw it, it would be easy and I'd understand what I'm doing and so at the end it looked like a like a fine technically drawn object and so I continued to use this object in different ways and compositions on page 31 I had chosen my composition already and I'd set out to look for different ways to make the smoke look more realistic and to give it more form and mass. So first off I used watercolors but then I tried it with pen. However it failed due to the lack of form and mass-ish expression. Therefore I tried it with watercolors again and this time the background was sky color and the smoke itself was white but it still didn't look the same the way I wanted it to look it didn't have this form and I didn't like using color in my work so the, the idea of using the sky color as a background wasn't really a good one for me so I changed it to use a white um, white smoke with black and grayish background and that didn't work either so I actually changed my composition at the end and it was I changed it because take a look this one it shows more form it show, the 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 object is coming more at you it's coming right there out it's more 3D-ish it's uh, it gives you more interest uh, makes you want to look at the picture more and so I use that composition instead of the first one. And <clears throat> so as I began to draw my final piece, I realized that my message wasn't really stressed in the drawing. My message was that at this time in Egypt, where we see people do, do all kinds of things, no one knows exactly what it, what it is they're doing. When we see a man or woman on TV using a weapon, no one knows who this individual is and what his intentions are, whether he's a good one or a bad one, or even fighting for his friend or a family member. Moreover, I intentionally covered his in this individual's face to stress this point, that we're living in a time where no one knows what's going on, no one knows who's starting this, who's provoking this, who's putting his money in to do all this. So I realized that using a chemical weapon that's already open would reveal to the viewer that this individual has picked this weapon up off the ground and is defending himself. And that wasn't my intention. So I decided to change this and I added the word Silmeya Silmeya to this individual's clo clothes to create the juxtaposition between both. Silmeya Silmeya means peace, peace. So in the viewer's mind, there'd be the 
سلمية سلمية peace peace and this weapon that this man is using but the weapon wouldn't be an open chemical weapon anymore would be this uh, Molotov self-made weapon in which still not open so then the viewer would think is this man a peaceful man is this man trying to create violence or is he what is he doing who is this man how do we know him why is he doing this Leonid Afromov, a professional artist in which uses palette knife on oil canvas, influenced the background. I thought the background could use his influence because I needed something that wasn't so detailed in order to emphasize the main object. Because if something was too detailed in the back, the viewer wouldn't really have the main object capture his eyes. And that was my intention. Thanks for listening. Watch out!